Welcome to America's Real Deal. This is the first ever entrepreneur show where you, the viewers, are in control. This show is all about helping entrepreneurs succeed and achieve the American dream. And we need your votes to decide which entrepreneur will take home the $100,000 top prize. We will introduce you to entrepreneurs who have created innovative products and services. And they have invested their own money and talents to bring their passion to the public. Watch these entrepreneurs go through interviews, mentoring, product presentation training, and sharing their personal experiences. Each of the next episodes will give you a closer look at two companies at a time. Scan this QR code to vote, buy, and invest in any of these companies at any time throughout this season. Or go to americasrealdeal.com. In this episode, you'll join in the journey with the business owners of Cirque Plus and Carl Michaels Transportation. My background is is 110% Greek. So, that that's yeah. that's beautiful. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm Yanni Deros, CEO of Cirque Plus, an automation and robotics platform for commercial properties. We help protect people against pathogens and reduce costs with plug and play technology. 30 years of product development, product innovation experience. Wow. And we've developed over 300 products and technology solutions for other companies. Um, we've made them billions, our customers billions over the years. Now it's time to make billions for our yes. company and our investors. Yes, so. good for you, Yanni. Were the two of you being a married couple, mm -hmm. were you afraid of going into business together? Actually, I don't think we ever even we didn't have consulted any each wow. other about that. Yeah. <laughs> it, it wasn't even a, a thought. And honestly, I could not s see myself in business without Jody. Wow. We understand each other's skill set mm -hmm. and needs. Mm -hmm. She's the even keel. She's like, let's take a breath. Let's mm -hmm. do something. And I'm more spontaneous. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> That's uh, a good word. <laughs> I, love, I love that balance. I love the balance of this beautiful woman in the trucking industry. How did that happen? I started uh, working at Amazon on the loading dock, loading oh, okay. trucks. So I decided to purchase a truck, gained a contract with Amazon, and I started to make connections and I got another truck. Ultimately, um, my goal is to be a freight broker in the business, but I wanted to learn what it was like as a carrier. Mm -hmm. From the carrier standpoint, I didn't always intend to drive the trucks for a long time, but I just wanted to get, gain the experience. Right. You wanted to see what it was like. Right. The name Carl Michaels. Where did that come from? Carl Michaels is a name derived from my two brothers, mm. Carl and Charles Michael. Oh, so, yeah. very nice. Who's your target market? What's your sales process? And then how are we going to scale your company? We originally started Cirk Plus to be a smart room system for hospitality, to transform and modernize hotels globally. And we can do that within 60 minutes or less without any downtime or hard wiring. So between checkout and check-in, you can actually create a smart room. How did you pivot when COVID happened? What does the product do now? We locked ourselves in two hotel rooms uh, in Arizona. And that were disinfected. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> safe, safest hotel rooms in the whole world. Okay. Uh, and then we developed CBOT in 10 weeks. And out came the solution. And we can literally go through a thousand square foot space in less than three to five minutes and disinfect the space with CBOT. Who's your target market? We partnered up with some of the largest janitorial service companies in the country. And you already have these partnership yep. agreements? We're rolling it out and we've secured over $40 million with the partnership agreements with just two companies. Wow. So you're improving the guest experience, you're dealing with the labor problem, and you're making it safe for guests yep. to come in, and you're reducing costs yeah. for the hotel. Since COVID, People care more than anything about safety and security and cleanliness. So these entrepreneurs, Jody and Yanni, completely pivoted. 10 weeks, day and night, weekends, to develop CBOT. And when we launched CBOT, it was an incredible experience because not only did hospitality appreciate what we have done, but we also found out that the system was in demand in schools, office buildings, healthcare centers, and more. So we blew open the entire market just for the focus of helping people get back to life. So where are you located? 
In Houston, Texas. I think a lot of people are on this show are from Texas. That's oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. I'm actually from Indiana. So okay, that's I, where I'm originally from. Really? Yeah. All right. What part? I grew up in Gary, Indiana. There we go. Looking to gain more trucks in the fleet, adding more uh, big rigs uh, to obtain, um, obviously, more dedicated lanes and contracts. Oh, that's awesome. So, got you got some momentum, right? Got a proof of concept. What really gets you fired up about the transportation world? Well, at first, um, I was just looking for a new, um, you know, business to start up. Um, then as I began to study the uh, transportation industry, I quickly learned that there was a lot of opportunities um, for someone with my background. I have friends in the trucking business and started just learning a little bit more about how to get in the business. And I just went for it. So right now we're doing about 200000 a year, um, projecting to grow from there. However, um, my hurdle is getting the equipment that I need to you know, get more drivers in the seats mm -hmm. and move the freight. With that and me being a single mother and obviously with things changing, I'm seeking to you know, get started with some younger people and have them to come in and kind of groom them in the business and then help them to create a career. That's so awesome. Now, when it comes to recruiting people, I always recommend starting with the core values of you, right? You understand what you stand for, right? Yes. What's one of those big core values uh, for you, yourself? For myself, I would say integrity. Um, I hold myself to a higher standard, and I want to build a team of honest people um, and show that we're reliable. The good drivers, the good salespeople, the good leaders aren't looking for a job. Jobs are looking for them. Right. Deliver a clear, concise message around your core values and how you're scaling that. A pitch to an investor has a success formula behind it. It is your personal story of why. My brothers, high integrity. This is the path that I've been able to gain success in. This is where I have momentum. Your story, how you're disrupting, how you're scaling, close. I'm going to take this uh, business and really drive it to where we need to be to create generational wealth, not just for my family, but for a community of people. With our smart room system, we are looking to modernize, to reduce energy costs, to lower carbon emissions, and ultimately enhance the guest experience. Do you know that in the early days of COVID in New York City, more housekeepers passed away than all of TSA combined? Someone had to do something about it. Nobody was protecting them. So we had a life-altering decision to make. We either shelve our product or we step up and we take on COVID. With the renewed focus and mission of Out of Crisis Rises Innovation, our team of technologists stepped up and in 10 hyper-development weeks created CBOT, the world's first autonomous disinfecting robot, to be a frontline affordable solution to protect people today and in the future. It's just a rush to be able to sit here and share our story and our journey with, uh, with America. Hospitality is reawakening. The phone's ringing off the hook with properties who are calling to re-engage and to embrace the smart room technology to finally step into the 21st century. One of the main things that we're super stoked about is having this hotel renovation finally underway and we're excited to have Cirque Plus on the team. We started out with the Cirque smart room system for hospitality. We expanded our capabilities to CBOT and we're not resting there. We have a deep roadmap of future innovations that will propel us to be leaders in automation and robotics for years to come. Well, we've been in this business for three decades. So I can tell, we've, mm -hmm. uh, that came across. Yeah. Such wonderful feedback and wonderful embracing of our technology. What I wanna do is I wanna help build the next generation of truck drivers. I would like to have a community of people, we're talking formerly incarcerated, young adults, single mothers, let's teach them how to effectively train and learn through the compliance of FMCSA how to operate in this space. Carmichael's Transportation would like to build a system where we can bring these people in and train them and they can essentially be able to learn how to operate as an owner and have a stake in the company at the same time. I started this company in the name of my brothers. Carl and Charles Michael, who are both currently serving their 25th year under a draconian sentence, outdated law that was deemed unjust by Congress. I needed to create an opportunity for them. 
So I started Carmichael's Transportation. I didn't know that I was gonna be good at it. I didn't know that I would love it. And I definitely didn't know that it would work. But what I do know is this industry needs Carmichael's Transportation. For single mothers, for those who formerly incarcerated who may not have another opportunity, you're providing them the training and the opportunity to get out there and tie your families to be brought in from the single mothers to the formerly incarcerated and to others who do not even know how great of an industry trucking can be with proper training. And so with franchising, look, you're bringing in different revenue streams now. Exactly. And it looks different. It does. It looks it, different. Did she say mother truck? It looks better. better. Exactly. It, look, it looks better. Yes. It looks better. And I think you know, just to conclude, what I really love about the business, and you also, I was in your ether of thinking about it, is unlike a lot of other businesses, this is so scalable, and it's a simple scalability yeah, totally. of, hey, I have people shadow, then they work with, then they're supervised, then after that, so I'm gonna have someone shadow them. Mm -hmm. And in that, in the franchising context, but also for your business and as an investor, very interested in how that works in the size, scope, and scale because beyond anything, you hammered home the value of how the demand is and you have a better way to handle the demand mm -hmm. for a huge problem in America. And I congratulate you for that. I just nailed my pitch in front of the panel. It was great. Um, I just talked about the business. I really didn't have uh, much to say because they were asking questions that really answered everything that I wanted them to know. Wonderful job. Yanni and Jody made it through interviews, mentoring, and the boardroom. Now they are ready to advance to the main stage with our business icons. These entrepreneurs have a smart and clean technology company, and they performed an epic pivot to transform their business. I'm Yanni Daros. And I'm Jody Daros. We're co-founders of Cirque Plus. An automation and robotics platform for commercial properties that protect people from pathogens and reduce costs with plug and play technology. We began our journey to transform and modernize hotels globally. In 2020, we were generating revenue and had a deep pipeline. But COVID had a different plan. We were faced with a decision. We either shelve the smart hub system or we step up and we take on COVID. With a renewed focus and mission, of Out of Crisis Rises Innovation, our team did take on the challenge. And in 10 hyper-development weeks, created CBOT, the world's first autonomous disinfecting robot. You can always count on CBOT to be ready and they'll never call in sick. Thrilled to share that we have secured over $40 million in partnership agreements with companies across the nation. Excellent. So, that's mm. that's quite it. I'm, let's turn it over to our, our business icons and I'm sure you have a lot of questions to ask. Well, let's start with the $40 million in contracts. <laughs> sure. Why did I know uh, you were going to start yeah, there? Yeah, I know. It's, it's, I'm just too transparent. Um, it's, that's intriguing and a great idea, by the way. Is it commercial only? Is it practical for large spaces, small spaces? How does the hotel utilize it? Those Or, sure. or how does your client use it? Whatever, I'm not assuming it's all, all hotel. All great questions. Yeah. So our system is commercial-based solution, a smart platform. Um, so CBOT was developed to protect housekeeping staff and give guests a reason to come back into the hotels. So from that standpoint, we map a space and we pick all the areas to treat uh, and program it. And that's it. You have to just set it and program a schedule and we have a back end that actually uh, confirms that it did all the treatments around the space. Because we are controlling all the room, the lighting, the HV and, uh, and so forth, this is an IoT robot. So when a guest checks out, the robot will go through the space and disinfect the space without any manual labor. I do see several of your units in this video. Mm -hmm. Does it require them to be in that room to do the work Originally it did, but now we've evolved our business model. And once we launched it, we've, we were in demand across almost every commercial market in the, in the country, including schools, 97 billion uh, square feet of offices, healthcare facilities, and more. We built this system to be affordable. It's less than $5,000. There's a lot of people out there that need a solution like this, and there's a lot of, uh, a lot of square footage out there. Do you have LOIs or MOUs or, or we do. some things that are there so that you can just buy into the scale? Yes. That, that's, we actually have signed purchase agreements as part of those letters of intent that exceed $40 million. We have significant IP in this space as well. 
Um, that's yeah. That's so, where some of the value goes. Yes. This, this has a lot of the IP. Mm -hmm. yeah. Really <laughs> interesting. It does. Because I've seen units that aren't quite as impressive in their functionality, but that do. This one orders food. Yep. <laughs> so, and towels. And towels. And towels. And towels. <laughs> wow. Oh. Let, let me give you a little insight into the IP that sure, we have. Sure, yeah, please. So we have secured intellectual property as a method patent over a smart room system, our cloud solution, uh, in-room uh, environmental controls, and an app. So that entire business model is protected. The modularity of the system is protected. We well also have uh, an opt-in, opt-out button on the front of this, which people have called the billion dollar button that disconnects the microphone electronically and mechanically from the unit. So now the, the controls are in the guest's hands, not the technology. And we actually got around patents from Amazon and Google and got that. Congratulations Thank to you. you. Where is this manufactured? Uh, actually, everything is manufactured in the United States. The only thing that's not manufactured mm -hmm. offshore are the plastics and the metal. So that's really America's real deal, right? Yes, <laughs> it really is. It truly is. Well, I think fascinating. Are there any other questions you'd like to ask before we wrap this? It's it's pretty compelling. It's pretty self-explanatory. It really it's good good product. Yeah. Thank you. So being on America's Real Deal has been really exhilarating, meeting incredible people that are very supportive and are really embracing what we have to offer for our customers and for America. Well, it's a pleasure. Thank you for being on this. And for more information about this product uh, and things that you'd like to invest in, go to americasrealdeal.com or you can scan the QR code. And thank you so much. We are just blessed to be here, embraced by all of these amazing people. And I'm loving oh. this. <laughs> yeah, great it's been an incredible experience uh, from start to finish. I'm in, are you? Now that Soraya has gone through interviews, mentoring, and the boardroom, let's continue on the journey with her as she discusses growth strategies with our business icons. This entrepreneur is revolutionizing the male-dominated trucking industry with her drive and determination. Please meet Soraya. I am the proud owner of Carmichael's Transportation. I'm the mother truck and diesel diva based out of Houston, Texas. <laughs> I have kicked the door in of this male dominated industry and started my own transportation company to support my family. I'm a single mother of four kids, four boys. <laughs> it has not been easy on this road to trucking, but I am determined to make my mark and stay here because I'm in it for the long haul. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This business is changing rapidly. The demand for drivers is at an all-time high. There's a 90% turnover rate for drivers. So what I've decided to do was to create a program that we can invite drivers to come in where they're formerly incarcerated, young adults looking to start new careers, or even single mothers like myself who don't realize you can come into this business, be profitable, and make a name for yourself. The franchise opportunity would allow them to be owner operators and have a stake into my company. So I'm excited to be here and I hope you guys are able to see what I'm trying to do and want to join the team. I, I'm sure you have a million questions. Let's hear them. Soraya. First of all, congratulations, girl, on so many levels. Thank but you. you haven't graduated yet. You're still building a business. Yes. And the way you're looking to do it, I applaud in terms of the talent you want to inv have invested in your business. I do want to ask you what consideration you've given to hiring previously incarcerated people to move product. That is a very important question, and I'm glad that you asked that. Because a lot of uh, formerly incarcerated people gravitate towards this industry, and they are very successful. Uh, also, in addition to that, the recidivism rate is reduced because once they learn they can come in, make an honest living, they have little chance to go and do any criminal activity to return. That's incredible. So. You're also looking to bring women in. Exactly. Are you supporting these drivers and these, and I heard you mention franchisees, are you supporting them with any particular type of training or business processes to assure that they're successful? Absolutely. The main thing that um, helps keep drivers in their seats is paying them a fair and honest rate, but also giving them the proper training initially and continuously throughout their driving career. 
You said it was a franchise model, so if you could tell us a little bit about that. Well, with the franchise model, the idea is to um, have the drivers to come in and be able to uh, drive the freight, um, drive the equipment that we have, and then have a stake into the company. So instead of having uh, bringing people in as employees, um, they have something you know to work towards and also something to lose. So it kind of um, increases the chance of them staying longer. So you're going to be giving them little bits of equity as they drive and prove themselves, that yes. type of a model? Mm -hmm. Interesting. So an investor has to look at that as well because the more drivers you bring and you're giving very little bits of equity, you might want to think about starting regional parts of your company so you're not giving away all the equity in your regional company. Just a thought. So currently, what is your, you know, what is your monthly income? Uh, how does the business look? Are you breaking even? Are you making a bit of money? On average, um, the drivers bring in about $12,000 a week with the semi, which I just obtained. Um, with the box truck, we're looking at about $5,000 a week. Um, currently, in, my current revenue is at $200,000 uh, for the year. You mentioned that you want to use this mainly to buy new equipment. Correct. And um, have you thought about equipment loan because it's non-dilutive? Uh, there are quite a few companies out there. They will loan you quite a lot of money to do uh, uh, equipment, especially if you have existing contracts, oh. they'll give you an equipment loan. So just something to you know, give some thought to. It's a, a non-dilutive way of raising money. I would definitely give that more thought. Do you belong to any uh, support industry uh, uh, organizations like NMSDC or WeBank, Women's Business Enterprise Network? I do not currently, but that is something that I'm very closely looking at to get started. I just need to um, find the right resources to help me um, get there. But Welcome yes. Welcome to the right resources. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that'll be very important to you. Not only will it give you a lot of opportunity to meet with procurement people who can buy your services, it will offer you advantages of classes that help you up your business skills and the networking around many other areas that are gonna be important to a working mom. Once you're certified by these organizations like NMSDC and like WeBank, that is the card that introduces you to corporations that say we vetted her this business is good and you've earned the right to that so go for it okay thank you i will i am just so excited um, they were very helpful um, janice and andrew they really um, asked some really important questions that the viewers might have so hopefully you all feel the same way and can see the vision so for more information about investing go to americasrealdeal.com or scan the qr code you go girl Thank you. <laughs> well done. America's Real Deal for me is the best way to connect investors with business owners. And the quality of people that we're surrounded with will ultimately help us accomplish our goals. These companies and their owners are competing to be the seasoned champion of America's Real Deal. Here's a quick reminder of each business. Scan their specific QR code to vote, buy, and invest directly in their company. I created a mobile studio on wheels that will pull directly into your driveway, your workplace, or beauty event. How do you get from driving the truck to driving the business? I want warriors. I, I want people that want to join the company. I'm going to have two more trucks. On those two trucks, we'll be hiring people to work two shifts. Janice and Marie, they definitely set the tone. It was great. Fire Grounds Coffee Company. It's a first responder branded coffee company that uses premium Colombian coffee. We have a motto and we're ready to share this with America and we're ready for everyone to realize the truth. Heroes deserve good coffee. And so do you. There's a great need out there for places that can connect with the kids. Child wanted a label. Tell me what's wrong with me because I know I'm a child, but I'm broken. A remarkable group of people. The reason it works so well is it's based on nature's motions. If you think about how the twist of a DNA helix looks, it's all a sine wave. Our product is so far reaching. We were able to uncover a new market. Or a Lamborghini with wings. Right. So you can drive it, you know, 
know, 75 miles an hour. And then you can take off and fly at 150 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. You fly over the mountains, over the lakes. It's incredibly efficient. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic. Henry Ford put the world on wheels. I want to put the world on wings. I love that. <laughs> I love that. The pain we're solving is to be able to get from wherever you're at to where you want to be quickly and efficiently. It is extremely competitive for an eight ounce bag, but extremely non-competitive for a 25 pound box. It was $203,000. Uh, this year we're doubling that to between 400 and if I get the certifications up to 500. Thank you so much for watching America's Real Deal, where you're able to see brilliant entrepreneurs tell you about their innovative products. Remember, you can vote, buy their products, and get in on the ground floor by investing. Just go to americasrealdeal.com or scan the QR code on the screen. Join us next time on America's Real Deal to see our next group of exciting entrepreneurs. This is where you can see the future of technology and business. This is the real deal. They're going to get very excited about a lot of companies and they're just going to want to invest, invest, invest. And I got to encourage them. This isn't gaming. This is true investing. Mm -hmm. So I want them to look at, can I afford this? Is this my extra money? What would you tell me that you think is like just the most important thing you can leave? Believe nothing of what you hear and half of what you see. Wow. Make sure you go out and verify it for yourself. They need to listen because investing is risky and they need to know the risk and they need to know the potential because you can lose all your money. On you sure business. can. But also, how long can I wait for this company to mature, to deliver on the promise? You know, you can stretch your imagination, but don't stretch your pocketbook. Go in strong and be prepared to wait for the return. We are the heroes we need. Yeah, I was swear. next episode, we take a closer look at two more business owners. You'll feel the passion and determination they have for their companies. This is the real deal.